so today's video is a really exciting one because it's my what I got for my birthday video. So as always I kind of need to say that I feel a bit awkward filming this video because it's like look what I got for my birthday. As you guys know if you've watched me for a long time I do one of these videos every year and you all seem to really like them and I really enjoy watching other people's so it's not bragging, it's not boasting, it's just what I got for my birthday. Ta da! Okay, so first of all, me and Ricky went on a little trip to Bista Village a few weeks ago, like kind of for my birthday, to go and check out what it's like. Um, and if you don't know, it's this big designer shopping village and it's got loads of designer shops. I didn't end up buying anything um, mega expensive in the end because I just like didn't really feel like justifying buying like a mulberry bag at the moment or even like a Michael Kors bag. And there wasn't actually anything that jumped jumped my attention, that's not right. There wasn't anything that really, really, really caught my eye, but I did buy a couple of things. So, the first thing I got was this really cute bag from Kath Kidson, the Kath Kidson outlet is amazing. Um, it came in a little bag, but I've lost that. But it's really good, because you can actually, it's good enough to actually use it as like a little makeup bag or pouch or something. Oh, it was inside. So basically, <laughs> this, no, this came in this, baby brain's taken over, please ignore me. Okay, um, so the initial idea was that this would work as a really good hospital bag, but we've now realised that it's too small, um, so I'm either going to take this and another bag, or another bag completely. But I really liked it. I think it was £20, um, but these are usually like £30 or something. And I also went to the CCO, which is the cosmetic company outlet, I think. And I got a MAC nail varnish. They didn't really have very good colours in the lipsticks or anything, which is a bit disappointing. But they have this gorgeous nail varnish. Um, and it's in the colour Snob. So you might have the, we well, might have this, but you might have the lipstick, which I have. So you can kind of match your nails and your lipstick, which is a little bit sad and a little bit awesome at the same time. Um, I don't know how well you can see the colour, but it's just a really pretty pink and it applies so nicely. It was £7.75 um, and it's usually £11.50, I think. So there's a bit of a reduction there and just thought that's such a nice colour. I would have probably got that anyway even if I had all of the colours to choose from so that's that. Then me and Ricky also went on a little trip to London just before my birthday and um, he got me some things that day as well which was very nice of him. I went to um, Anthropology. I don't know why I'm showing you the bags they're not in the bag but I love Anthropology. Um, and we got these which I thought were really cute. Kate and an art obviously for Kate and Ricky um, and they're £6 each. They're massive mugs um and they're just really good for tea they're just massive um the only bad thing is the handle is really tiny and the mugs are really heavy but i love them so much so they're on display in our kitchen so i really like these i also got some ladray this bag is just to depict the ladray as you can imagine they're no longer here they're no longer with us they are gone they went like the first day I got them. Um, but anyway, I love macaroons as well and whenever we go to kind of like m more Covent Garden, but obviously there's one in Harrods and other places in London, I always get those and I love the bags as well. They're so lovely. I've also got some clothes to show you. These are kind of like a mixture of things that I got that day, but I thought I would show you them anyway because it's clothes, right? Um, so, and they're kind of like a birthday treat to myself. So I got this top. So it's black and white, a zigzaggy pattern, um, it's $7.99 and it's just quite long so obviously it can conceal bump. So I liked that. This one is also from, this is all from H&M, the next few things. This is like a little uh, smock dress. And these are so comfortable to wear for me at the moment, but they just, even if you're not pregnant obviously, they look really cute as little summer dresses and they are £12.99. So that's that one. And I also got one in um, navy polka dot, which is exactly the same. It's £12.99. And there's a picture of me wearing this on Instagram if you want to see what it looks like on. Unfortunately, it's modelled by a pregnant lady, me. Um, but yeah, you can see what it looks like on if you want to head over to my Instagram. The link is in the box below. Um, I also got this one, 
The reason I just bought like these dresses is because it's hot and these are really comfortable to wear. That's the only reason. I really like the sort of um, paisley print on this one. It just has little double straps and it's just a very floaty dress and they're either good to wear on their own if it's warm enough or I've been wearing them over kind of like jeggings and stuff. So yeah. This dress I wore for my birthday because we went for an afternoon tea which was really lovely, all my family. Um, this is from AX Paris and I don't know how well you can see it but it's just a shift dress. It's made of quite a thick material and it has this sort of stained glass print on it. Um, again, I have a picture on Instagram, but it's not of the full dress. It's not me wearing the full dress, but I absolutely love this. And it's £25, and it looks really nice, even at the moment with my bump. Kind, It's just kind of like a nice shape. So I absolutely love that, and I got that. I got it ages ago, but I wore it on my birthday, so I just wanted to show you what it was like. Um, okay, and then another item of clothing. This was... A present from my brother which I thought was so sweet of him because this is also from H&M and he didn't know I bought any of that by the way which is really weird considering how similar this is this is from the mama section so the maternity section which I just thought was so sweet thinking of him going into H&M maternity they must have thought it's a bit weird um, but it's this little top which is really good because it's long enough and I'm finding all of my tops are too short at the moment and it just kind of um, has elasticate, it's like elasticated under the bust. So this is really nice and one of the only things that I've actually liked from any maternity section that I've recently seen. It doesn't have the price on it because he took it off um, but I'm sure you can check it out on their website and I love the print on it as well. Sorry about my phone, it's, it's really big. Okay, so from my sister-in-law, who is obviously Ricky's sister. I got some really pretty got some really pretty presents that I wanted to show you. Um, I first of all got this, which as you can see is a frame and it's all like sort of floral ditzy prim. And um, it says love on the top. But all of these come out and you can store photos in it. So it's like a massive photo frame slash photo album box which I thought was so cute um, and these are from Dunnell Mill if you are interested again I don't know how well you can see that bit it's got blue uh, letters and floral letters and you, like I said you can just put a photo in the front so that is adorable I love that and then she also got me the matching hanging heart which says love which we've put in the kitchen because it's really cute but I just got it out to show you um, obviously also from Don Elm as they match and yeah I'm just so pleased with those they're so pretty so that's what that one looks like and on my actual birthday my present from Ricky was one of my presents were these Russell and Bromley loafers which I've wanted for ages um, I think they're the Chester loafers um, but these ones are from the kids section. One, because I have stupidly small feet and two, because I didn't really want to justify spending £165 on them. These are half the price and that, but I still think that's quite expensive. Um, but they're just as nice. The only thing is if you do um, buy the children's ones, they don't have the Russell and Bromley tag on them, which doesn't really bother me. But they come in really nice colours still. And they go up to, I think, a size seven, an adult seven. So there's a tip for you if you want the uh, Chester loafers and you don't want to pay £165 go and check out Russell and Bromley Kids that is my tip of the day <laughs> um, but apart from that I love these I just oh my gosh I love them so much I love the colour I've worn them a few times already they're very comfortable and they're great they'd make really good like school shoes as well in obviously black I would have loved to have school shoes like that once upon a time. So Ricky also did me a little treasure hunt. He likes to do treasure hunts on my birthday. Well we like to do treasure hunts on our birthdays with clues and stuff and we buy each other like little presents. So some of the things in my treasure hunt were a company magazine which is my favourite magazine. It also has a Cosmo magazine in there as well and some nail varnishes so that is pretty cool. And I also got a Barry M nail polish in um the silk collection one and it's in the colour pearl which is really pretty and then I got this necklace because I am a massive fan of Holly Willoughby and I, I, 
I'm choking. <laughs> I'm a massive fan of Holly Willoughby and I love her double coin necklace that she has and I've always looked out for one. And Ricky found this one which is so pretty and they're available in, I think it's from Miss Selfridge. Um, so this is so cute and I've looked for one for ages. It's not like her one where um, it's properly soldered together, they're like kind of stuck together, but it's so nice and I think they come in silver as well. So I love that. As my last present from Ricky, he got me um, a massive photo frame for our living room, which I'm gonna try and insert a clip here because I can't bring it upstairs because it's huge. Um, for obviously pictures of us and the baby so he's put a few pictures in it but we're gonna wait until the baby's born and we've got more pictures and we've printed more out and um we're gonna put it up on the wall and it's absolutely lovely um and i think again it's from matalan if you're interested but i absolutely love it and something else which i can't bring upstairs because they're too big um are the flowers that are from my nan and granddad which were absolutely beautiful um i'll insert a clip or a picture here Oh my gosh, they are amazing. They're so lovely. So I'm really, really grateful for those. Finally, presents from my mum and dad. I got this bag, which, oh my gosh, I love it. So since I've discovered that we're having a boy, I think I have a love of blue, but like especially this baby blue. And this is, as you can see, a River Island bag. And it's all quilted, it's so soft. You'd think it's leather, it's so soft, and it's just got this really gorgeous chain detail. And I, I am a massive fan of like Chanel style bags. So I was so pleased with this, and it's even got this little bit here because the chains on the Chanel bags like massively, or like any chain like bag, bags with chains, massively dig into your shoulder. So that is such a good idea to put that on there because then it doesn't hurt as much. Um, so I'm so pleased with this, it's beautiful. Um, and it looks like that inside, but when I got inside, there was another present hiding, and I got a Chanel bag, which is like the best kind of shopping bag to ever get. I was really excited. Um, got a sample of Giorgio Armani. And I got this, which is amazing. Um, it's the Chanel, I can never say it because it's in French, um, Le, Le Beige, but anyway, I'll show you what it looks like because I'm sure you'll prefer to see the actual product than me trying to pronounce it. So it comes in the little pouches, so this is the packaging, obviously I can't say enough about the Chanel packaging, I'm just obsessed. Um, and it's got the little mirror there, sorry if I'm blinding you, and the brush, and then you just take that bit off and you have this really cute little compact um, and obviously as you can see it's a highlighter I'll try and hold it a bit further away one sec so it's a highlighter, bronzer and blush and you can just obviously swipe through or you could use each colour separately it's absolutely gorgeous they're all um, I think they're all matte shades they might have like the slightest shimmer to the highlighter but it's absolutely beautiful um, I think it says number one but I'm probably reading it all completely wrong. Um, but yeah, this is their kind of trio. And I was just so happy with that. I don't think I could have picked a nicer, like, um, Chanel product if I'd tried. So that is, I think, pretty much everything that I got for my birthday. Um, and I had a lovely, like, weekend and a lovely birthday day. And everyone just made it really special. And I'm just... A very lucky girl, very, very, very lucky girl. That's everything I wanted to show you. Um, I hope if you had your birthday the same day as me, I know lots of you do share your birthday with me. Happy birthday, hope you had a lovely day. Happy birthday if it's your birthday today, yesterday, tomorrow. June babies are for the win, yeah. Woo -hoo. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I'll speak to you soon, bye.